Um, I titled this video why emotional or why enlightenment is BS. <laughs> right? So hopefully if that something struck a chord, uh, maybe you're going through something, I don't know. But this keeps coming up over the last few days for a lot of people. Um, let's see, swipe left. How do I swipe left to reveal comments? I'm still trying to figure out how this new live is working. So if you if somebody's on, would you just like do something so that you can say why it's that you're here? I, I haven't figured out live. Anyway, back to this. So there's been a lot of emotional energy again, right? We I'm always talking about energy, I'm always talking about being empathic, what that means. But right now a lot of the energy that's coming through is your own old crap that needs to be um, purged and cleared out. And I think a lot of times what happens is people are like, oh, you know, I'm going through this enlightenment and I'm going through all of these things and it's going to be all airy fairy and so happy and everything's going to be wonderful. Well, that's where the BS part comes in because when you're going through this, when you're on this road to self-discovery, when you're trying to figure out you know, your life purpose or what you're supposed to be doing or what your gifts are or any of these things that are, that are highly spiritual, right? It's hard. So if you're going through that, know that that's okay. If you're all of a sudden coming up with these emotions that you don't know what they are or why they're showing up now or things that you thought you dealt with years ago, if that's coming up for you again, let's look at it and address it now. It's not easy to do that, it's hard. But one of the best ways that I can explain it is to say, is some, uh, I'm looking on here and I see that people are looking, but I can't find comments. So I guess if you guys are there, again, somebody let me know that you're there. But So the best way to do this, and this is what I've told probably about five different people in the last four or five days. Like I said, I've been avoiding doing this video. I didn't want to have to do it. Um, these are not the fun ones, right? The hard work, the stuff that's hard to do, that's not the fun thing to have to deal with, but it's the necessary part of it. We have to dig through, purge our emotions. Um, one of the themes that I'm seeing is people not allowing themselves to feel how they feel. So for whatever reason, um, you know, you've got an emotion come up and and you you rationalize and talk yourself out of it. Well, I shouldn't feel that way or, you know, it's really not that big of a deal or you discount it in some way to where you're not allowing yourself to fully process or feel the emotion. The thing is, we all have a right to our emotions. They're a gauge for us to tell us that there's something going on. They're a gauge to let us know that there's something buried maybe that we need to release. So whatever that is for you, like whatever's coming up, maybe ask yourself, you know, what is this emotion? First of all, try to figure out, you know, are you angry? Are you sad? Are you, you know, enraged? Are you um, disappointed? Are you hurt? Like try to get a name to whatever this lower negative emotion is and know that that's there on purpose. It's going to show you how to give yourself more space, right? Because when we're working with enlightenment, we're working with self-discovery, the goal is to become happy and free and and more vibrant and, you know, joyful and all of these things. Well, we can't be there. We can't be in enlightenment. We can't be in self-discovery or, you know, ascension or whatever it is if we don't deal with the crap that needs to come out. So my way of doing that is to first identify what the emotion is. Second of all, then journal about it. Like a friend I was talking to the other day, she's like, well, this really kind of makes me mad. And then I think about it and I'm like, well, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. I'm like, you can't do that. You have to not discount how you're feeling. So what I would do is go back and say, okay, this makes me mad and this is why. And just start writing. Start writing it all out. Start journaling everything. Don't judge it. Don't filter it. Just bleh. Get it all out there, right? Get everything out on paper. Once you do that, and don't tell yourself, you know, I shouldn't write that. Literally just write down whatever comes out. Even as, if it sounds stupid, it doesn't matter. If you have that emotion, if you have that feeling, if that's honestly, truly, vulnerably how you feel, write it down. Nobody has to see it, right? This is for you. This is an exercise for you to purge out what you need to purge out. Once you get it all written down, then you can go back and kind of look at it and say, okay, First of all, you probably had every right to feel that way, right? So look at it that way. So, okay, I can see why I felt this way because this is what happened and that would be a normal human response. So that's okay. The second part of that is what needs healed? What is the theme? Is there something in that that's you're saying, well, I'm not good enough or I don't deserve better or, you know, whatever it is, like if you're saying I shouldn't feel that way, well, why? Why shouldn't you feel that way? 
what's going on beneath that that you're not allowing yourself to feel that way? Are you not worthy to feel those feelings? Um, is it not right? Right? Whatever. Dig into that a little bit more and see what that is. When you do that, that's where the healing comes, right? Because the more you can process through that, the more you can say, okay, this is what it is and now I see it. You'll have your own little aha moment. When you do that, that aha moment is when things get released, right? So as you're going through that, allow yourself to process it however. Um, I hope I'm getting this across on the video. Like I said, I can't see any comments again. I don't know why my phone's been doing that. Sometimes I'll see people involved in their doing comments and sometimes I don't see them. So for whatever reason, I'm not seeing any comments today and that's okay. But if this makes sense to you, if you're you know, going through something and you're not sure what it is, or if you're emotional and you're not sure why, just try to pinpoint, first of all, what's the emotion you're feeling, and then just allow yourself to free flow on paper, journal it out, and just let it all out. And then you can go back and look at it. If there's something that you're like, you know what, this is what's coming up, and I, I really don't know what that is, um, you guys can message me or, you know, the Facebook community. I have Embodied Grace community. You guys can join that talk about questions in there. Um, just let me know how I can help because a lot of this is coming up for a lot of people right now. So first of all, you have the right to how, to feel however you feel. Don't discount the way you feel. Second of all, process it. If it's coming up, that means it's okay, it's time to release it, it's time to work through it. And then if you need a little help, message me. Um, otherwise, you know, hopefully you'll have your aha moment. You can see what that emotion is for and what lesson is in it. And that's where you start your way onto an enlightenment but know that it's not always easy it's not airy fairy yay happy me like la la land it's it's hard work right self-discovery enlightenment all of this is hard work it's not always easy you have to cry it's okay to let yourself cry it's okay to get upset all of those things are normal and that's part of the process so if you're going through that know that you're not alone there's a lot of people going through it right now um, know that there's nothing wrong with it and know that the best thing you can do is look at it and say, what is this and why am I feeling this way? And then process through. So if you have any questions, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's a Monday and it's it's been an intense one from what I can tell this morning. I don't know if it's just me or if it's you know kind of out there, but I do know the theme for the last few weeks has been about this and about emotions and, and learning to process them. So I guess that's probably the biggest message today is that the, the path to enlightenment is not easy. There's a lot of BS stuff that you've got to pull out from that are old wounds and old hurts and those kind of things that you've got to process through. So know that it's okay. Um, Embrace the process as hard as that may sound. And then let me know if you have questions. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.